Hey guys, it's Timmy here, and welcome back to another episode of Underdog. And in today's episode, we're going to be going over the Longbow DMR Sniper Rifle in Titanfall. Now, the Longbow DMR Sniper is a gun that you unlock kind of like halfway through the ranks of Titanfall. And to be honest, it's not really the best weapon. To be honest, all the sniper rifles in Titanfall aren't really that great weapons to use, in my opinion. Because the game, it's such a fast-paced game. There's parkour, like people are jumping on Titans, off of Titans, on walls, going on zip lines, etc. You're going so fast in the game, making a sniper rifle not really that useful because you have to hit multiple shots on someone and you have to be really accurate with those shots, making it seem that it's like really hard to hit people and actually get those kills. So, it's not really the best weapon. I mean, there is maybe a certain role for it, but... I really don't really suggest it that much, but I have a setup that I think will be pretty good for, like, say, hard point if you want to watch over some flags. So, yeah, let's get into it. First things first, damage. Now, the damage for the longbow DMR is 120. It's a flat damage, meaning it'll kill a grunt in one shot and kill pilot inspectors in two shots. Now, the thing is with those the damage is that it kills grunts really quickly. Like, one shot, da they're down. But those two shots with like the slower-ish rate of fire that it has, it's going to make it seem like it has a sh really like long-ish time to kill because in close range, if you have like say a shotgun shooting at you or any other like SMG or carbine, they're really going to take you out before you can get that sh second shot out. So the damage is good. It's definitely better for like say longer range where they'll have to get multiple shots on you like the R101C has six shots to kill at longer ranges this one takes two so you'll definitely win that gunfight because you'll have more range on them you know what I mean and obviously if you put like the suppressor on the longbow DMR it lowers the damage it actually kinda like lowers the damage a bit it's weird how it works because it has a flat damage but it lowers it and I don't suggest using the silencer now the rate of fire for the longbow DMR is really slow really really slow it is 210 rounds per minute making it really slow because that's half of the rate of fire of all the pistols the smart pistol has a rate of fire of 480 rounds per minute this has 210 that is less than half of the smart pistol it, the rate of fire is so slow the only thing that's slower is like the revolver and the the elder sniper like the really high powered one but this is a really slow rate of fire like i said even though you have high damage in closer range that slow rate of fire is really going to mess you up, and it's just, it's really slow rate of fire. That's all I can really say to it. Now, the reload time for the Longbow DMR is 2.66 seconds with bullets still in the magazine, and 3.66 seconds with bullets, with no bullets in the magazine, making it a really slow reload time. Like I said, I know some reload times in this game are very long. What I say, use the fast reload perk or whatever it's called and you can easily reload your guns quicker but I mean if you're in a more longer range position you don't have to worry about reloading as much because you're, you're farther away from the gunfight so you should have a little bit extra time to reload so it's not a big deal with the reload time but definitely use the faster reload perk so you could you know not get caught reloading now the magazine size for the longbow DMR is pretty small it's only eight rounds you can put extended mag and give it 12 it's enough if you're doing long range sniping but say you're trying to hit someone at longer range and you get one shot on them but since they're running really fast you miss another shot then you miss another shot and then you get you finally get that one so you used four bullets to kill one person now what if say you do the same thing you're really gonna run out of ammo quickly because you're not it's really kind of inaccurate and the magazine size is really kinda low making it's just it's a weird weapon to be honest and you could put extended mag on it, I don't suggest it, but there are better options for what attachments you want to use for the longbow DMR. And the attachments that you want to use for the longbow DMR is pretty simple. In my opinion, there are three scopes that you could use for the longbow DMR. Two longer range ones, and one that's like the main stock 6 times scope. There's another one that's like 4.5 times magnification. And then there's the AOG, which is probably the best. It is lower magnification obviously but with the ma bigger scopes it's gonna ruin your peripheral vision you're not gonna see if anyone's coming towards you you wanna have say some peripheral vision so I use the ALG sight and besides this isn't like the long range sniper so you don't need 
like a lot of like magnification you could be closer range it's more of a dmr hence the name in the title of the gun so you could be closer range so i suggest the aog sight also i there's also three other attachments you could use the extended mag suppressor and the stabilizer suppressor it lowers the damage in the range i don't suggest using it so i wouldn't use it don't if you want to use the extended mag for a couple extra bolts in the magazine you can i really don't like using it I like to use a stabilizer because it lets you get off those successive shots and when you ha are having to take two bolts to kill someone you really want to just go like pew pew and get them because you really don't want to have to wait for the gun to settle down with the recoil you just want to get those successive shots out so that's why I suggest AOG and stabilizer so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this episode of underdog leave a like favorite subscribe you know all that stuff and I'll see you guys next time